and the subjects are unpredictable, but it will be undoubtedly entertaining and unlikely to offend anyone. Or maybe not. Stick around and find out with your hosts, Alan Knight and Bridget Day. Night and day. Is it time to play radio yet, honey? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yes. Another hour of fun and festivities yes. in La La Land. I'm uh, Alan Knight. I'm Bridget Day. Together we are. Night, Night and, and day. day. Okay, to the left we have, and that is not mean to the left side of politics, but to the left we have Freddie and Linda Santori from amp 2 TV. Yes. They are helping us out. They make the show. They make it grand. They have the curtain. They have the speakers. They have everything. And then in master control, it is Mama Lynn Cody. Yeah. We want to say hello to you today. I fired back because last week oh, she gee. wore a Red Sox shirt. <laughs> You're today, never going to live that down ever, 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 t- ever Today ever. I have, on. Uh, I took it off because it's uh, hot in the studio, but uh, I have the St. Louis Cardinal jacket. And I brought oh, yes. it to work. And I'll turn around for uh, those watching on television. <laughs> but you can see it. Anyway, uh, at work they go, do those, and these were Red Sox fans that I showed it to, they go, do they come in winning teams <laughs> for, for the jacket? Anyway. Everyone's a comedian. Even you? Yeah. All right. Before we were coming on the air, you mentioned that you were looking at Groupons again? Yes. I hate when you do this because Groupons are good if you want to have a little bite to eat, if you want to go on a, an excursion, a little time away, a vacation. How do you know? Because vacations, sometimes they book you into dirty hotels, remember? Just like a weekend little thing, like a two-hour sailing, not when you're going away for a a week. If you do that call like Norwegian Cruise Lines, you call the cruise line or or, or cruise compete or something, you don't do it on a group pod. Okay. But you were looking for, what was it, liposuction? Liposuction. (laughs) It's some kind of weight loss shot. When I'm thinking of surgery or anything medical, I'm not looking on the web on a group pod. I'm not going to look for a improve cru- myself. Okay, improve yourself. You, you don't need any improvement. I need the improvement. No. You don't. But if you do it, you don't look for a coupon. I'm not going to go into the because MD and say, "Here, I, I have a no. coupon. Can I save uh, uh, to, to instead of cutting me 12 times? Here, I got a coupon for 10." Groupon does things cheap enough so you get to try things where you normally wouldn't be able to afford it. Really? Is that your concept? Yeah. Coupon is just a form of advertising. It is. Like, we are a show. We're looking for sponsors, sale. too. Every day's a sale on Groupon. There's a sale on the night and day show. You can get the perfect advertising. And yes, you, 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 you have television. You have the whole package. Yes. I've got, I've got the whole package. You do. And the show, too. You have a nice package. <laughs> if you understand that, uh, please do not write in. Do not <laughs> ma- just make your complaints. Uh, send it to Ken Harris at Clear Channel Communications. All right, uh, about 10 minutes after the hour, we are on live. Already Every 10 minutes we've been on? Well, you count uh, WBZT Fox News, oh. so you, you don't get the whole hour. We're really on a channel where they give news, Absolutely. real news? Is it Bieber news? Oh, please, I know. He was arrested today. Yeah, Go ahead, give, give the news. What's that? He has a yellow Lamborghini. It was a rental. Yeah, I call them Lemonginis. Why? Because they don't go that fast. Well, he was drag racing. Yeah. And DUI. That kid, Bieber, is a thug. Oh, please. Yes, he is. He has good music, though. Um, oh, we'll give out the phone number, 1-800-889-0267, 1-800-889-0267. Wherever you can see us or hear us, please call in and say hello. If something's on your mind, it doesn't have to be political. It doesn't have to be uh, anything. It doesn't? It, it, it covers the spectrum. We can go from one edge to the other. One edge of the spectrum to the other. 1-800-889-0267. Uh, we're on live every Thursday at what time? 7 o'clock. Yes. Please follow along. We only have a 55-minute show. No. Tuesdays please. at 8 o'clock is a replay. I happen to listen to our program. I was you cleaning. Did? Yeah, I was cleaning out the closets of the crap at home. And you had nothing else to do but listen to our show. I wanted to hear Rick Vimlatel from the South Florida Fair. Oh, okay. And, and they still have that That's on the fun. Facebook page. The, thanks to Freddie Santori and Linda Santori from Amp2.TV. We're on their network, Amp2.TV. You can check out all the shows that they uh, promote, and you could be one of them. If you have a couple hundred bucks, you could be a broadcaster as well. Save yourself money from, what's that place, Connecticut School of Broadcasting. I shouldn't slam them. Uh, but can you yes. go there? 
I, no, I went when it was two other schools prior to or something like that. I oh. can teach you what I do in about 20 minutes. Mama Lynn Cody does more than I do. Well, she's a professional. Uh, don't forget at uh, uh, 7.30 tonight, we have uh, from the Lifestyles Magazine TM. i got to put the TM for trademark. Lifestyles Magazine TM. It's going to be the editor-in-chief uh, featuring exclusive information from your financial, legal, and health care perspective. It's going to be Beverly Kennedy. Yes. We had a nice time out. Won't go into specifics because we I'm not allowed dinner. to. Yeah, that was fun. Yes, we were. It was fun. It, it was it fun. It was fun. It was nice sharing a meal. Fun. I will go into that later, but no. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> anyway. Okay, what's on your mind, hon? Well, for one thing, if I if someone gave us a present to go to the Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia, would Sochi, you go? Sochi, yes. Sochi, um, Sochi, Sochi. Sochi. Would you go? Is it free? Yes. If it's free, it's for me, is the old expression. Why the hell not? You would go. Yeah, of course. In face of all the terrorism threats and everything else. You can get else. that here. You can no, get that anywhere. No, but Russia is plagued with suicide bombers, black widows. I'm sorry. Chemical. I listened to the BZT News. I didn't hear anything about blowing up lately. The, the, it hasn't come yet. Are you kidding You're always me? going to have. What happens when you have no. the big game? Let me tell you Super something. Bowl. If I was a country and they said, hey, would you like to have the Olympics? I'd say, hell no. You, you cannot incapacitate your Not world. in this day and age. Okay. Frightening. Isra you ever talk... When, when Israel was getting uh, bombarded with the Scud missiles. Where I'm not talking about a daily wartime. I'm talking about a special a event okay, where the world Okay, so you're going to have the most boring city, the most boring no, area. No, You have to do things. You've got 6,000 athletes to protect. 6,000 from where, 85 honey, countries. Where, where are you from? Where were you born? Who wants to know? Just tell me. <laughs> uh, this is not the secret. This Germany. Is, Germany. What happened? 1972. Germany. I don't remember. Okay, Freddie and Linda Santori for 20 bucks <laughs> of Monopoly what money. What happened? Okay, uh, I'm they, Jewish. They, they had the uh, Jewish Olympic team held hostage. Uh, yeah, and and you had the uh, Jewish oh, yes, weightlifters that. who were killed. Yeah. All right, we had a little but issue there of security. Then. Oh, so it doesn't count. No, it young. counts. I don't remember it. Have we? We probably have not really learned a lot. We always say that history repeats itself and that we learn from our mistakes. No, you're still going to be vulnerable. I don't care if you surround the city in a like a Great Wall of China or something like that around it. Well, or they like, do have the Ring of Steel. Okay, within that Ring of Steel, let, let's let's go with this. Okay, she has. This, this big old um, iron... Uh, no, the Ring of Steel is 40,000 police, right. 30,000 military, drones, okay. which I love drones, yes. um, six independent anti-missile systems, and God knows what else. All right. Now, if I'm... Let's think like, instead of being the police officers or the militia, and you're trying to, let's say, protect... You have to think like a bomber. You have to think like a terrorist. You have to think from the other side. Because the police department, when your house is broken into, all right, they're just sweeping up the mess. You have to, who do you consult with? You consult a burglar. You talk to somebody who's actually Correct. broken into a home. You don't talk to, a, not, no disrespect to a police officer, but you talk to somebody who's no, actually you have infiltrated. you inside the mind all of right. the perpetrator. Oh, so, I said that good. In Sochi, not that I've ever been there, uh, but what I've heard or what I've read or I've heard in the news on WBCT. Very close to Sochi. What ha oh, Sochi? <laughs> so what happens is there is such a vast area. What about I can still make a point of blowing up a restaurant that is off the grounds because a lot of Westerners, mm -hmm. Americans, are going to be going there frequent, frequently, frequently, uh, Frequent, what am I trying to they're say? Going How to do I, they're going to go there the often. <laughs> to eat. To eat, correct. So I can blow that up and still make a political statement. Correct. I can still kill well, as many people. All of that's supposed to be under the ring of steel. You do, you think that that's going to protect... There's, no, I'm just saying okay. they're doing their best. But the problem with Russia is they're not sharing well with the United States because the United States could Yes, help. because they're harboring... Going back to who's the idiot um, who... Uh, they, they stop who, who with the National Security Agency. Um, you know who I'm trying to tell? Snowden? 
Yeah, they're protecting him. Of course, I'm not going to be trusting them. Well, Snowden I mean, says, said the truth about things. I don't understand the Snowden honey, thing at in all. in order to run a government, you have to keep some Ooh, things secret. Oh, we're talking secret. politics. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> yes, I have an erection. Uh, but, honey, <laughs> y- what you have to do is... I'm excited. I'm sounding very intelligent. <laughs> And we've only been on 17 I know. minutes. It's a good day. I guess it must be the cold weather stirring my brain. What, what happens is you can uh, have th- this ring of steel, this ring of fire. Who cares what the ring is? Oh, the, that's the, Johnny the circle Cash of trust. We can have that too <laughs> in the circle of trust. But you're still not going to be, there's still vulnerable no, I areas. I know that because chemicals can seep through yeah. in the water. Well, look, okay. Let's say, for instance, let's pretend we're going to fight a war, okay? You're going to fight a war. What's the first thing you do when you want to go and attack the other uh, side? Let's see. Hire a smart, sexy woman. <laughs> no, I want to know your... I'm spe- serious. I want to get into the mind of, of Bridget Day. So you, we're going to fight a war, okay? okay? What's the first thing? Let's say you have all these bombs, you have all these uh, drones... What are you going to take out first? If Let's say, for instance, that you know that point A... I'm going a, to use intelligence... Okay. And the weakness of my enemy, which are men. And men's so weakness gonna, are women. So you're going to bomb so just... So I'm, go- I'm not going to bomb anything. You're going to bomb the strip joints first. Death. Of all the things you're going to bomb, you're going <laughs> to go after... What are you going to go after first? I'm going to kiss them to death and find out all their secrets. And then I'll just okay. unplug everything. Let me ask you this. How do you know who you're going to go after? These folks are blending in, and they're going to strike and, and kill themselves. How do you protect? You can have the big old... Uh, you said we were going to war. It is war. It just, the line is drawn inside. The lines, there's no, you know, w- w- well, back in I the would olden have, days... I would have dogs. Remember, what was that game, Stratego? Strate- okay, where you had one side and the other side. You don't have that anymore. It's all blended together now. It's a mesh. You know, when you a have mess. sleeper cells and so forth. You ever see the movie, and, and life is answered in the movie. You ever see the movie Telephone with Charles Bronson back in the... This is going to date telephone? me. You Telephone? No. Well, it, where it was taking place, it, it is a uh, the word for telephone, but it was called Telephone, T-E-L-E-F-O-N. No. Anybody ever see that movie? Is that where he's in a telephone booth and then the guy shoots him? What? 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 <laughs> What movie are you talking about? The, the oh, one. no, you're thinking of yeah. phone. She's thinking of phone booth. She's That's thinking it. of phone. phone booth. No, I would have said the movie phone booth. It's the movie <laughs> telephone. <laughs> hey, Alan, yes? on the internet, we just got a question. They said, Bridget, do you think a woman could lead the United States and avoid all the problems that men presidents have done? Good yes. question. You we, could? Well, women, women have a softer touch and they're smarter. Okay, well, we're going to see it when Hillary becomes... They would becomes, never send their sons out to war. When we see Hillary Clinton become president, but then again, she's closer to a man than a woman. Oh, stop that. She's a lovely lady. Okay, yeah, if I'm blind in one eye and get poked in the other. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, she's sexy, all right. Oh, boy. I'm not saying she's sexy, oh, Well, neither is Bill Clinton, because look what charming. happened with him when he was in office. He was straying. I, with I don't know why he went after Monica Lewinsky. She isn't that all hot either. Not that I'm, you know. You know, Mr. my friend bought her that blue dress. Huh? What? My friend. He's it a hairdresser. Up, it, it was up for auction. Yeah. Well, and she he sold bought the blue it. Blue dress. Yeah. How much? How much was like that? Twenty-four thousand, something like that. Wait a sec. Where is he going to put this? Is he wearing he, it? Well, he used to have a hair salon, and he had like Elvis's tooth, and he had all that kind of stuff. So, is he going to put this on the mantle or in the no, in the, in the fun he, room? I really don't know what happened. He bought the stained dress from mm-hmm. Monica Lewinsky. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. We have to talk him. To talk to him. He's in Puerto Rico now. Oh. Okay. He got into a little bit of trouble. Yeah, he was buying twenty-four thousand dollars <laughs> stained dresses. If he had that, yeah, where is he getting the money to do so? Anyway, we, okay. Mm-hmm. So, my, my, my concept was... It's my we favorite all hairdresser. It wasn't a secret if you're going to say that he went to Puerto Rico. Um, the, the concept is, what you're going to do is, you don't know where to point the missiles because they're these jerks and, and are hiding, let's say, maybe right next to a school, all right? that They're going to blend right in, and then they're going to blow something Why up. Why do you need missiles is the question. Well, you just said... You have all these uh, drones and missiles and bombs. Drones and you are have spy the ring of fire. Tech, No, drones are for spying. They're not for shooting. I what? guess you could shoot, but, but... Okay, and what you do is 
it's going to be hard to, to find out where the you can't just point over there and say that's where the enemy is. Shoot, no, I they're, understand. They're, it's they not could be behind war. you. They're already you know. So going back to the movie tel, uh, Telephone, and this goes back with Charles Bronson, like in the 1970s. What happens is, and I think it was Russia, that they hypnotized these agents and then had them infiltrate, come to uh, America. And if everybody saw it, call me, and, and hopefully I have the right uh, information because I'm going from memory so many years ago. And they hypnotized these agents mm-hmm. to come in and uh, be um, housewives, uh, be, you know, because, they, yes, they could be women mm-hmm. who would suspect the woman. And then they would have men be a, a businessman, uh, one is an auto mechanic and things like that. And all they had to do was pick up the telephone And the key phrase was from a Robert Frost poem. And they would contact these... The eagle flies at midnight? No. What was the one? The the woods are dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I I sleep. sleep. That trigger phrase in their head kicked off, and they would have a target to blow up. And what happened was this rogue agent was going to go after, just like a Snowden, in a way... Watch, it's going to be on HBO soon or on the reruns because I'm talking about it. That they would set it off and he would blow up a munitions dump, a, a, a communication satellite uh, place or something like that. Sounds boring. And, and it was, well, it's strategic of what you have to do. It, it now comes about of where you're going to, what you're going to blow up first. If I had to fight a war... The first thing you do is you cut off communications because then you have little pockets of... I sound like I could be a general. You have little pockets. No. Instead of one big army, you have to break it up. So you uh, cut off their communications. You put them in the dark. You cut off their food supply. And that's what, if you go to Afghanistan, uh, that they were shooting up supply trucks. Because if you can't get food... Why drink- can't you just put truth serum in the water? Are you kidding? You're watching too many James Bond movies. I don't watch any James Bond the, the, movies. A, a secret agent is supposed to remain secret, not going around saying, Bond, James Bond. No, you would you would not. No, you put true serum in the water, then all the people that are lying to you that are like undercover agents will tell the truth. It's really simple. I don't know. What do you it think it's really? You, so you think Wonder Woman in, in her, in, with her lasso is going to be coming around. She's the secret agent, and she's going to be able to uh, solve the world's problems, and you think it's that There's simple. There's easier ways to get around stuff. Do you know That's that, okay, we should, okay, we should be protecting water plants. We should be protecting energy, uh, uh, you know, plants and things like that. We sh- that's what we should be doing. Do you know it's probably harder to get to the airport, but yet probably easier for me to break in to, let's say, uh, an atom- uh, what, what do they call those um, for, uh, for energy? Nuclear energy plants. Yes, nuclear plants. It's probably, i got to take off my damn shoes to get into the airport, but yet if somebody's going to easily bomb those other places, that's what we should be worried about. Anyway... You got me going. Did you know that graham crackers are supposed to squelch your sexual appetite? And they were invented Uh by Dr. Graham. You know, we had a luncheon today, and they had pie, and I was eating graham cracker Uh crust. Does that mean that what, what's going to happen I'll be now? I'll sleeping alone tonight. You, you mean, wait a second, my testosterone is going to be down because yeah, I had graham Dr. cracker Graham crust? in the 1800s. Dr. And, Graham? Yes, Sylvester Graham. He okay. was a doctor. He has he, nothing to do with cocaine, right? That's a different doctor. That's that's another kind of Graham. Okay. Um, Dr. He, Julio Gonzalez. <laughs> he invented the Graham cracker crust. It's supposed to squelch your sexual appetite because he thought Americans were going to... Don't eat the crust. Don't eat going, the crust. You won't have an erection. Does the, does the Know Nothing show know about that? Or are they going to be they re- report? They will tomorrow. They're going to be reporting it. They're doing connaissance con- uh, work on the night and day show. So they're going to be tuning in it tomorrow. It represses cardinal urges. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love how you say that. Hey, Bridget, you ever heard of the Chinese mushroom? It increases men's... Stamina? Sexual I, drive. I, okay. No, where can oh, I get it? That's what we're having for dinner for tomorrow. <laughs> it's all grandma mushrooms. coffee. I'll really? bring you a box next week. Oh, yeah, please. Thank you. So you mean to tell me if I eat mushrooms and that I have graham, crust, graham cracker crust, I don't know if I'm coming or going? Yeah. Okay, so to speak. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're gonna Something be, like that. We're going to be talking to uh, Beverly Kennedy very soon. Oh. All right. She's going to be calling and, and taking her... 
couple of minutes, nice. and I'm going to shut my mouth about the wonderful dinner that we had, the wonderful super dinner that we had. No, it was great. Uh, stop. <laughs> Why are you throwing at me? Every, honey, what are you? Wait. <laughs> Why are you throwing papers I'm at me? Attacking you with missiles. Why? Are you, why are you doing? She actually threw a piece of paper at me. You watered it up a piece of paper. Next is going to be something watered it heavier. Up? Boy, uh, <laughs> what did she say? Nothing. <laughs> did you have to push the dump button for what she says? This is real, no. unrehearsed, local, and um, I'm probably in trouble. All right, won't get any mushrooms tonight. Right? Right. Okay. Just All the crackers crust. for you. Uh, uh, the, the whole show is crusty. Uh, 27 minutes after the hour. Let's take an early break, and then if she's on the line, we'll talk to her. Okay. We'll share some things, like dinner. We're going to share a good time. I'm telling you. Uh, w during the commercial break, I'm in big trouble now. Yes. I, I can see it now. Those mushrooms and grand crackers aren't going to help you at that point. <laughs> I'm Alan Knight. I'm Bridget Day. Together we are Night, Night and Day. Day. Hello, boys and girls. Yes, this is the good-looking bloke from Iron Maiden, Nick Homer Brain, with you right here on Night and Day Radio. The following could be based upon actual events. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs, and each wanted to get a mortgage to build a house. The first little pig, well, he was blown down by inflated balloon mortgage payments. The second little pig, he had his share of troubles. He went to a poorly rated financial institution and got some bad advice, and the sticks came tumbling down. Now the third little pig, an entire different story. This little pig went to Paradise Bank. He was a real ham and happily living in his beautiful new home. Don't worry, his two brothers moved in with him as well. For your fable to come true, call Paradise Bank, 561-392-5444. 561-392-5444. Paradise Bank, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Mississippi Sweets, founded in 1991 and owned by Randy Smith, invite you to come on in and taste what homemade barbecue is all about. The down-home recipes include starters like the Brunswick stew, loaded with chicken, potatoes, and vegetables. Mississippi-style dinners, Choctaw catfish, Tupelo chicken, and a of course, half racks and whole racks of ribs. Dinners come with your choice of two sides, such as coleslaw, homemade cornbread, or their famous thin slice and fried sweet potatoes, affectionately called Mississippi Sweets. So come on down and check out the best barbecue in Boca and beyond, with two locations to find that famous sauce, 2399 North Federal Highway in Boca Raton, right across the street from Paradise Bank, and their number is 561-394-6779. That's 561-394-6779. And also, 9859 Lake Worth Road on the northeast corner of Lake Worth Road and U.S. Highway 441 in Wellington. You may contact the Wellington location with 561-642-4748. Again, that's 561-642-4748. And both locations are open seven days a week. Mississippi Sweets, the best barbecue in Boca and beyond. There are talk shows, and then there are talk shows. But this talk show is as different as night and day. In fact, it is night and day. And to be a part of it, call toll-free 1-800-889-0267. Now back to Alan Knight and Bridget Day. We have more calls off the air <laughs> trying to yes. find. Uh, if People you're tuning in, it's, it's 1230 WBZT. That's the uh, conventional way of doing the radio listening. If you're in the car, if you're uh, somewhere in a building, well, you got to probably hold up an antenna. You know, like the olden days, 1230 WBZT. That's the uh, the way to do it. If you also want to watch us, uh, there's a couple places. The simple way is to go to our website at radionightandday.com. Spell yes. everything out, radionightandday.com. Spell night with a K, radionightandday.com. Scroll down, and you'll see a little television. Hit that, and you can watch us live, right? Yeah. Okay, now is it also on amp2.tv? Here, that scrolls. Okay. Now, Amp2.tv, that has not only our shows uh, running, but other programs that Freddie and Linda Santori have, so you can watch other shows as well. It's a, a television streaming channel on the web. So that's how you can find it out. And, and it's working. Okay, it's working, so we, we just checked. So 
Amp2.tv is where you can watch other shows other as well. Shows, but but if right you want now, to see our show now, Radio Night and Day. It's Radio Night and Day. When you say tonight, Radio Night with a, a, a K, yes. All right, without further ado, don't ask me how to spell ado, but from the Lifestyles Magazine TM of Broward in Palm Beach, Florida, the editor in chief, Beverly Kennedy, and she will have exclusive information on financial, legal, and health care news, and we call the segment, exclusively on the Night and Day Show, Facts from Fiction, Things That Affect Your Life. Hello there, Beverly Kennedy. Well, thank you very much, Alan. It's so good to see you again today. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, and also, I listened to the show, and Bridget, you and Alan were delightful tonight. Thank you. Uh, I listened on iHeartRadio. You know what? I forgot that way. that way to do it as well. iHeartRadio. Yeah. You can punch in stations down. all across the country. Mm-hmm. You can hear us. Good point. Excellent. You can put it on your cell phone. You can put it on your iPad. And I went to my uh, computer, uh, and I loaded you down and listened to the show before I knew that I was coming on. Okay. And I had a chance to think, it's Carl Sandburg, but I, could, I didn't call him. Okay. <laughs> hey, well, well, now, this doesn't count as part of your time. Who was the, the oh. American Idol person that we saw at the venue and where that was? Uh, Galeb. Uh, Galeb is... Uh, Galeb? Galeb. One name, Galeb. He is... Uh, Venezuelan. He is handsome. The, I, I think we can consider him quite talented. Uh, not only he, was he had a great yeah. voice. He was on American Idol, and, and also one of the he was top, the, the national winner yeah. of something else too. Okay. Well, he was one of the contestants on American Idol. Yes. He was in the top 10, 20, 50. 30, 40, 50. But he actually won from. What was it, Hollywood, Florida, or something like that? Holly, Hollywood, 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 Florida. Idol. And uh, he's he's Hollywood appearing. Idol. Where is he playing? He's at my favorite seaside restaurant, which I had lunch there today, and it's called Seaside Grill, and it's on right off of A1A, which is, you know, the Ocean Boulevard, uh, but 14th Street Causeway in Pompano Beach runs right into the restaurant, <laughs> directly into the restaurant. It's in a timeshare hotel, the Cove uh, Hotel, and it's timeshare. But it is, the restaurant is large, it is scenic. Is that on your end? What are you doing? I hear vibrating. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a little interference. That's okay. Okay. Could uh, be the tea a, party. Just a little bit. You, okay. you never know. You never know why and you never know how. That means uh, somebody's trying to jam us a little bit. Okay. Which is interesting. Anyway, uh, but go ahead. It's Russia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with me, you never know. Yeah, the NSA. <laughs> Okay, but um, then I went up to Paradise Bank after I left there. Uh, so hit all the sponsors. He, he is, uh, Gallup is, sings there Friday night and Saturday night. It is packed. And reservations are really standard operating procedure for Friday and Saturday night if you want to go. Yeah, he's got a good, I mean, I'm, I'm not into opera or that, 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 that type of singing. He was damn good. He was awesome. Yeah. He, he I, should I be at a bigger venue, but not to put down, you know, the place. But that is pretty nice. That where he was, oh my God, of how he was reverberating uh, in, the, in the room. But and to get that he, quality entertainment without even paying a cover is amazing. Uh, I so think that we were privileged. Uh, and the food is good there, too. Yes. Uh, we had a, a, a tasty sample of their food. Uh, <laughs> without overeating. Oh, she heard that. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. I ate afterwards. And, but no, I quite, loved it. Quite frankly, the, the martini was wonderful, oh, too. Yes, it was. I, I don't drink. My, but it's my favorite martini, and I don't really drink that much. I only drink one drink, you know, maybe once a week. I'll have a little wine. I had two. You know, but I must uh, confess. It, wasn't it divine? It's, it's yes. pomegranate juice. It's yes, a pomegranate juice, and it's fresh with a martini. And I think it's good for you. It makes you feel good. Yes. <laughs> Just one. That's all you need. But um, I'm so glad that you were there with me because it's very hard. You know, a frame of reference is you say to somebody, I want you to see a great restaurant. They have wonderful food, and it's very reasonable. Don't you think it was reasonable? Don't you think, you know, uh, two Yes. Weeks? I'm not allowed to talk anymore. Yes, it was reasonable. <laughs> it was very good, and it was very reasonable. And yes. Uh, parking. I, I didn't pay for parking. I don't think you paid for parking. No, we didn't. We found a spot. We got lucky. Right. right. And there is parking across the street in a lot uh, that if you don't want to park valet. Right. So, anyway, uh, so let's get to facts from fiction. What okay. is today's topic? 
I, I'm going to change the whole thinking because in our magazine and also on my web page. Well, you don't have the magazine and, yet. Uh, pardon me? The magazine hasn't started yet, no, has no, it? But, but in the magazine, we, we do have um, what we consider a crossover between the web pages, which I have edited for four years, one for three years. And the one for three years now has 33,000 followers. That's a lifestyle. What is this? No, lifestyle. That's Beverly for number four Broward dot com. Oh, Beverly you got something for else going. Com. And what I do is I do fact from fiction in the political world because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't understand. That's one of the biggest risks to your financial security. Politics. Right. I mean, they can change the laws, and I don't know if anybody noticed, but did everybody say and finally say they're going to say after they do their taxes? I've had less money. I'm paying more in taxes. I am going, and you didn't really get a raise this year either. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are or what you do. Yeah, because you had the health uh, add to it. Yeah, our expenses have gone up, 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 and up. Up. The price of gas, the price of electricity, the price of food, and uh, quite frankly, insurance. And people, and I'm speaking fact from fiction now, I really believe when I say that it is a nightmare, people don't even know what a nightmare it's going to be. Obamacare is misleading because they call it affordable health care, and it's not affordable. Yeah. There is going to be a tremendous change, and... So far, where's the breaking news? Well, Everything the breaking I, I, news is, is that I have a way of solving these problems, and I teach people through the magazine... How, how do you teach people? Give us a hint. Okay. What, what are you doing to, to say how, how to deal with it? How to, uh, here's my affordable health care, which is, okay, a lie. So what do I do? You must almost write down every single problem that you deal with. And you must put it visibly on the yellow pad or the white pad, whatever you have. But yeah. put it down to paper. And, and then you look at it, it's a problem, no matter what you're talking about. Yeah, but there's not enough money in my account to cover it or in, let's say, uh, you know, I'm fortunate to get it through, through work, but the, the person who is not getting health care, and even if they write it down, you, you can't, what's the old expression? Because I'm old and I always express. No, 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 no. You can't the, the, be, get blood from a stone. The, you can't believe blood. I say that all the time. You do? Um, no, I'm going to change now. And analytical, critical thinking and... I think that, you know, Bridget, I always ask you the questions. Uh, you know, she does never anybody, answers and mine. I think you probably, uh, I know you know this answer. So, Alan, you're, don't give it away. But okay. Nobody can um, hear it over the what what is, sound over is, the phone. What is <laughs> the definition of insanity? What is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That's absolutely She true. is 100% damn good she, got a, she was correct. good and we just keep on doing things over and over and over again and what we do is that we believe when somebody tells us something that it's going to be true that you could you know this is not going to cost you any more, and you're going to have you're going to pay lower costs for your insurance well quite frankly if you've never had insurance you don't even know what to expect so the first thing is if you don't ask Critical questions. Analyze critical thinking. Analytical <laughs> critical thinking. If people don't wake up and start saying, hey, wait a minute. Uh, we talked about this on, on I will Dr. give away Fiction, a $25 gift certificate. And the day you can show. tell me I mean, what she's you know, talking the nine about. Day show. I know I'm on the Do you yes. know what out-of-pocket expenses mean? Yes, that That's I do. Most people don't. They, they never had insurance before. The young uh-huh. people don't know what out-of-pocket expenses they don't even know what is not covered they've never asked the question they think that once you have health insurance that somebody's going to come in there and wipe your brow carry you to the bathroom make sure that you take your bath make sure you're fed make sure everything's fine I that is not ben violence. Um, I'm, I'm lost i lost you after hello what, no, the bottom line is, is that people think they can get health care, affordable health care. What are those pomegranate no martinis? That nothing is, is covered. Nothing is Nothing's covered. Nothing's covered. Oh, yeah, that, that, that part I know. Okay, but you know, the young people, and they're young, we're talking about people who are forced to get insurance in their 20s. 
their yeah. 30s, their 40s, their 50s. They have never been able to get insurance, and they now have insurance, but they're so pleased that they have insurance, they, they don't ask a question. Oh, they I'm sorry. None, none of the analytical <laughs> thinking. We ran out of time. Right, Bridget? Oh, yes. Okay. So sorry. All right. Um, that's true. So, quite frankly, we're going to change the paradigm. And okay. Beverly Kennedy Solutions, Diversity Planning Institute, uh -huh. you know, dpiinc.org. I have many web pages. You can Google Beverly Kennedy, Broward uh -huh. County, Palm Beach, you know. Beverly Kennedy. Radio. Uh, dot com. Financial advisor. You can get these answers because it's going to take more Please than Please send your minutes. comments and questions to... Radio Night and Day at AOL.com. Radio okay. Night and Day at AOL.com for further information. And um, we'll try to decipher it. Yeah. Thank you, Beverly. Thank you, Beverly. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Talk to B you next bye. week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. <coughs> what now? Did you know that today <laughs> is National Measure Your Foot Day? I know. I know. I know what you thought I was going to say. <laughs> totally <awesome. laughs> I don't know if, if there's a day like that, but today's foot day. Today, I know I like to put my foot. I meant measure your foot. Today is National Comment Compliment Day. And today, yes, you know this is National Thank You Month. It is. Yes. Thank God you know the show only is? has it's 18 national, more minutes. It's National Breakup Month. Okay. Six out of Ten couples will break up this month. How many? Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> trying to bring you all down a little. Do you little. have any positive news? Because <laughs> I don't know what just happened the past ten minutes. Oh, crap, I think it's going back. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't understand it. I didn't, I didn't understand no. it. No, we... we oh, don't. anyway, okay, i got to get my composure. Um, yes, Anyway, 1-800-889... 0267 1-800-889-0267 If one more person emails that says that they can't find the video, it's V easy. Radio Night and Day. Easy? Yeah, V easy. Okay? Well, no, what the, the person found it. What? The show's three fourths over. <laughs> and oh. they just found it? Yes. Oh my god. No, but they got it. Oh. They got it. Did, did, did you it? hear? I didn't hear about this, but did you hear? Um the the man who was the somebody's waving. Oh, phone? Um, no, who is it? Oh, should we take... Oh, we, we don't have to take, take a, break a break yet. No, we'll go to the phone. We'll go to the phone. There's a phone? There's a phone call, who yes. Is it? Probably the wrong number. Hi there. You're on Beverly Kennedy Show. Go ahead. How can you watch your show live on the computer? I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> is this Mr. Kennedy? <laughs> Bastard. Oh. Are you allowed to say Obama that? Obamacare doesn't have anything in it. Obamacare? In case, in case you didn't get that from the last caller. We're going to change it to who cares? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. um, there, was, there, was, there was something about the, the theater shooting, honey. Remember? In Russia? Not in Russia, oh. here in Florida. There's always a Florida Tampa, connection. Florida. It was in Tampa, okay. Oh, is that with the Batman? No, that was in Colorado. Oh. Okay, we have. I'm sorry, we have to keep up with the shootings here in America, our safe, wonderful world that she thinks we live in. Uh, a Florida woman is accusing the shooter, who was the police officer, or the uh, the ex police oh, captain. Oh, 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 I know the texting thing. Okay, that three weeks ago, this woman also had an altercation with this same gentleman, with the one you know, the one who shot. Uh, the woman that the, the woman whose husband died, the, okay. the, the now, retired now, the, person. Right. The, the, yeah. the, the, there was a. No. a you, you've heard about this. Yes. Okay. Let, let, let the caller let the caller running. explain about it. Go ahead. This this woman, three weeks prior to the actual shooting, was in the movie theater with the shooter. Okay, with the retired officer. She was texting in the theater. He asked her, "Will you please stop texting?" And she got into a little bit of a disagreement with him about it. And oh, the she, same she, situation. Right. Okay. And so what happens is is he's getting a little heated with her, you know, giving her dirty looks and stuff. Because, you know, she finally shut her phone off. But the guy in front of her thought it was amusing because he was so upset about it. He pulls his phone out, and he starts texting. 
Oh, in spite. Uh, yeah, just just the, Yeah, you got that attitude these days. Uh, okay. Hey, yeah, and it, it, the, you know, the problem is you, you see all this crazy stuff going on. Wait, but at the beginning it, of the movie the theater, at the beginning theory. of the at the beginning of the movie it says don't talk, it don't says, text. Yeah, I still want to see the damn previews. Remember when we go to the movies? I want to get there early because I want to see all the advertisements. I want to see all the... I want to see where you throw yes, your you trash. Do. I want to see it all. And and so that is, is part right. of the movie to me. Right. So people you, are just rude. So, so That's people... That's what coming down to. All right, so she had a similar altercation with yep. this guy, and it could have been her. He could have shot three weeks earlier. He got her, too. He could have. But she shut her phone off and put it away. He forgot, oh. <laughs> he forgot his gun. He forgot his gun. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's, yeah. Uh, the, it's a shame. Well, look at the, our, our young children of today. How old's the, the the Bieber bastard? How old is he? He he's oh, has good mind. music. Oh. Are, are we 19. allowed to say that? When, oh, we're not allowed to say that? She had to dump me? I Good. thought you can't. You have. You can't say that. Okay. You can't say that. The B word. No. Beaver. No. Wait a second. <laughs> no. Yeah. Wait a second. You should be dumping Beaver. Yeah. The, you can't say that. That's not one of the words. Wait yes, a second. It is get on with it. I've been in broadcasting for over thirty something years. You can say that. Only if you don't have a mother. Well, Only if you're talking about a dog. You can say the S word. No, you can't. That's on television after Obama's. 10 o'clock. Uh, Obama's. Okay. Anyway, so that was the thing. I guess I'm, it is time I'm for a lost. break. We can't go wrong with a break. Thank you so much for calling in. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. We've had, we had a good half hour. <laughs> All right. More coming up after this on the Night and Day Show. Uh, stick around. Who knows what comes out of more our mouths after, after this? what? What are we doing here? Who knows? We're okay. filling time up until the top of the hour when we have more news and the Dave Ramsey show comes. Who's live it? Live every Tuesday. Dave musician? Ramsey? Syndicated program. All right. Uh, live Who, every... Who's a Ramsey that's musical? I'll catch it up to speed during this two minutes of a break right here on the Night and Day Show. I'm Alan Knight. Ramsey Lewis. I'm Bridget Day. Together we are a mess. Night and day. I listen to the program night and day with my dear friend Alan. And I'm telling you, I don't miss one program. Now, if you believe that, <laughs> live in Israel and try to become Jewish. Anyway, I do thank you and cherish and enjoy this man. Mississippi Sweets, found in 1991 and owned by Randy Smith, invite you to come on in and taste what homemade barbecue is all about. The down-home recipes include starters like the Brunswick Stew, loaded with chicken, potatoes, and vegetables, Mississippi-style dinners, Choctaw catfish, Tupelo chicken, and of course, half racks and whole racks of ribs. Dinners come with your choice of two sides, such as coleslaw, homemade cornbread, or their famous thin slice and fried sweet potatoes, affectionately called Mississippi Sweets. So come on down and check out the best barbecue in Boca and beyond. With two locations to find that famous sauce 2399 North Federal Highway in Boca Raton right across the street from Paradise Bank and their number is 561-394-6779 that's 561-394-6779 and also 9859 Lake Worth Road on the northeast corner of Lake Worth Road and U.S. Highway 441 in Wellington you may contact the Wellington location with 561-642-4748 again that's 561-642 4748 and both locations are open seven days a week mississippi sweets the best barbecue in boca and beyond the following could be based upon actual events once upon a time there were three little pigs and each wanted to get a mortgage to build a house the first little pig well he was blown down by inflated balloon mortgage payments the second little pig he had his share of troubles he went to a poorly rated financial institution and got some bad advice and the sticks came tumbling down now the third little pig an entire different story this little pig went to Paradise Bank. He was a real ham and happily living in his beautiful new home. Don't worry, his two brothers moved in with him as well. For your fable to come true, call Paradise Bank. 561-392-5444. 561-392-5444. Paradise Bank, member FDIC. An equal housing lender. 
You're listening to Night and Day with Alan Knight and Bridget Day. And if you'd like to take part, just dial in to 1-800-889-0267. That's 1-800-889-0267 with your opinions or your comments on tonight's subjects, questions, or just to sing a song. Maybe not. And speaking of maybe not, here's Alan Knight and Bridget Day. Oh, solo the mio. All right. Alan Knight, Bridget Day, Freddie and Linda Santori with our Amp2.tv uh, production. Oh, we just and got interrupted bank- by a Tampax ad. How? Oh, on the on the on the on the show. But that that if you're watching us, there is uh, something with uh, ads that pop on now oh, and then. Okay. Uh, we have no control over that. Uh, oh, you can block it. You can block it on your computer. Oh, all right. Um, nice. To here is that. a small. Uh, I want to give you a political quiz, honey. We oh, talked about politics. Boy. Let's come back to what we did earlier in the show, okay. being Squeeze respectful, wonderful, okay. and where Mama Lynn Cody didn't have to push the dump button twice. Okay. That, that's the first time in, right, in the history of the Night and Day show that we had to be dumped. All right. No, it's not fine. to be confused with dumped. <laughs> okay. It is. All right. Here we go. You answer this question, honey. Either That's agree, right. maybe, or disagree. Okay. All right? Well, follow along. You can take the quiz at home. Government should not censor speech, press, media, or internet. Do you agree, maybe, or disagree? I agree. Government should not censor. Do so you agree? Okay. Military service should be voluntary. There should be no draft. Military okay. service should be voluntary. There should be no draft. I agree. You agree. Okay. There should be no laws regarding sex for consenting adults. Yes. Of course, I knew that one. Uh, repeal. <laughs> <Really? laughs> I'm, come on, I'm dating her for seven years. Uh, repeal laws prohibiting adult possession and use of drugs. Do we want to repeal laws prohibiting adult possession or use of drugs? Do you agree, maybe, or disagree? All drugs. I'm just reading what it says. I, uh, I, I guess I agree. Okay, and there should be no uh, there should be no national ID card. There should be no national ID card. I disagree with you that. Disagree with that. Okay, and then on the economic issues, do we end corporate welfare? No government handouts to businesses. Are you agreeing with that? Maybe or disagree. End corporate welfare. No government handouts to businesses. Agree. Uh, handouts or loans? Uh, government handouts usually don't Those have to free. repay. That's grants and stuff. Um, mm, I guess. Or you I, could say maybe. There's maybe. a maybe. Oh, I can do maybe. Maybe. Okay, yeah. I'll do maybe. Uh, most of the time, that's what our Congress does. They have maybes on everything across the board. Because there's always variations and. Okay. Four more questions. End government barriers to international free trade. End government barriers to international free trade. Maybe. Okay. Let people control their own retirement. We want to privatize no. Social Security. I disagree. You disagree yes. with that? Yes. You disagree with that? Yes. Wow. Okay. Replace government welfare with private charity. Replace government welfare with private charity. Um, I'm going to agree with that. All right. Agree. And then cut taxes and government spending by 50%. Cut yeah. taxes and government by more than 50%. I agree, but that's not going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. We're, we're, it got a guy in a White House who can't control anything that goes on with the other. They can't all get along. But he gives good the, parties. They're, the, you know, they're, they're definitely not the Rodney King uh, uh, Congress. All right. I so what happens, you had a lot out of that. Out of How many questions were there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten questions. You had four, five, six agrees, two maybes, and two disagrees. So you had more agrees there. So what happens is, if I add this up, we'll find out. Talk about something and give me a chance to add this up, and I'll see what you are. You could be like a, a centrist, well, you or like you could be a libertarian. Yes. I don't know. It's called Phil for just a second, okay. and I'll find out what you are. Do you know what you are? All Besides, right. okay, go what ahead. Well, give I was going to talk about that. January is the biggest breakup month because a lot of people don't want to break up between Thanksgiving and New Year's. Because you don't want to be a holiday Grinch. Plus, people have already trips have planned to family members and stuff. So, January is the biggest month for breakups. December is the second most, and March is the third most. I don't know why. Why is that? I don't know why. I just said I don't know why. Did you add yet? No. I'm still adding. You have to go ahead. Unless you want me to... 
print this up on our website or something like that to do no, it. No, no, go ahead. Okay. It, well, it says you you had a lot of in your personal issues where government should not censor speech and military should be uh, right. voluntary. You had a lot of agrees. So your personal issues score 100 percent. That's close to being a libertarian, where you support maximum liberty in both personal and economic matters, and they advocate a much smaller government. Do you want a smaller government? I think that would be kind of good. Yeah. Yeah, do you like I when do. government controls a lot of things? Or no. No, not really. Okay. Yeah. So but when it you depends, you know, there's 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 gray areas and everything. But yeah, for the most part, I yes. Guess. But you you I have agree. to. Okay. Whatever you do when you're in government, you're going to affect somebody in a negative way. Right. You can't please everybody. No, you can't. But if you walk down the middle, not you're going to tick off both sides. So you have to at least go for, possibly to one extreme or the next. You can't just walk down the middle because you're not going to solve any, anything. Right. Because you can't answer maybe to everything. Right. And that's our problem. we got people who are doing, we're, we're at a stalemate. So what do you do? How do you, you you're thinking you well, can you easily fight a war things. with the ring in Sochi. It's not my ring, it's their ring. You know what? That, within where they that's have the. That's what Putin says. Is that right, Putin? Yeah. Putin? Yeah. What about him? That's what he says. What is he going to say? My place isn't safe? Come to my home and come. Uh, we're having a little trouble. You're going to have people. That's not where the bombings are going to happen. There may be something where you're going to have terrorist attacks. It's not going to be where the where the. Well, if you want to make a statement, then you attack the Olympics. I mean, it's a big event. Well, it's a worldwide event. Everyone watches the Olympics. Of course, that's especially the Winter Olympics. That, you have the same our thing favorite. with. Okay, do you know that? Um, okay, Mama Lynn Cody and I are baseball fans. Okay, she likes the Red Sox. I don't hold that against her. I like yes, the Cardinals. You do. Yeah, I know. That's why I wore my jacket. But, um, <laughs> you know, in two th next year, next year, you have to have uh, metal detectors going into many of the uh, baseball uh, well, you parks. You're doing football already. Well, and hockey. You, you, hockey? Oh, yes. Well, they the sensitivity. Your now, now you, every time you go into a concert, you get searched. You have when to. I went to the fair. Yeah. Well, now it's going to be. Well, about. when you go into a you ballpark, uh, the, when we went to the World Series, we didn't have to pass through uh, metal detectors. We went to the Cardinals World Series this right. past year. But when you go to the to the hockey game, they actually have metal detectors and they search your purse. Yes, but also the sensitivity. There were issues with the sensitivity. You go to the Miami International Airport. There was an incident. How many years ago? Ten plus. That they forgot to plug the damn thing in for a half hour. <laughs> I don't understand that. You're going. It, it, it kicks off it every should time. Have a light on, shouldn't it? This well, you can you can change those to sensitivity. There is a sensitivity factor on those. Or you can just use the wands. You know, the guy. It's always the person. Well, you use the, the wand when you beep. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, it's it's been fun. In the middle there, I have no clue what happened. <laughs> but thank okay. you for sharing the time. We want to uh, thank you, as always. Yes. If you want to have a bite out to eat, we're going to hopefully have like a, a WBZT night and day uh, evening out. You, we'll, we'll have uh, Beverly Kennedy there to have an appetizer with. Okay. Amongst the 20. That's lovely. And, and, and we'll have something. We'll, that's going to be coming up soon in the next couple months. Really? Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll put something together. How okay. about that? Fine. All right. Four. Myself, Alan Knight, and... Me, Bridget Day. Right. Uh, Freddie and Linda Santori, Amp2.TV, and Mama Lynn Cody and Master Control for pushing the button so we don't get in trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. Take care. Bye-bye. News is next. And then the Dave Ramsey Show on WBZT. Toodles. News traffic weather every 10 minutes from 6 a.m. until 3 p.m. 1230 WBZT. West Palm Beach. Fox News Radio. I'm Ron Flatter. At least two people are confirmed dead, and authorities expect that number to grow after a big chain reaction accident this afternoon on Interstate 94 in northern Indiana. There was uh, some heavy snow and reduced visibility at the time. Uh, which was definitely a contributing factor. Lieutenant Peter Wood of Indiana State Police. Video from the scene shows dozens of vehicles spun in various directions with some cars pinned under big rigs. President Obama has stepped up his...